Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will be adding a newer technology eSATA extender cable to a pre-2008 Mac Pro. We have already shut down, unplugged, and placed our Mac Pro on a static-free workspace. We are now ready to begin. To make room for the eSATA extender cable, we will first need to open the side access door. To do this, lift the latch located on the rear of the Mac Pro until it locks into the open position. You may then tilt the door forward slightly and remove it. We will install the eSATA extender cable in an empty PCI slot, which are located here. It will then connect to the eSATA plug behind this fan assembly. Before we can remove this fan assembly, we will first remove the processor heatsink cover and two of the hard drive trays. The heatsink cover is magnetically attached. Simply pull on it to remove. The first hard drive tray houses the hard drive. You should be able to pull it straight out, but pushing it a little from the back will help loosen the drive. Now remove the second hard drive disc tray. It should slide straight out. There are two Phillips screws holding the fan assembly in place, located here at the bottom of the assembly, as well as here at the top. Remove the top Phillips screw first. This is the location of the bottom fan assembly screw. Remove this Phillips screw. We can now slide the entire fan assembly out of the Mac Pro. The two SATA ports are located here. Loosen the PCI Express cover retaining plate and remove it. There is a tab at the top that the metal plate latches into. You'll need to unscrew the two screws and slide the plate down and out of the tab. Now remove the PCI Express dead plate cover. To install the ESET extender cable, slide it into the empty PCI slot and locking tab. Plug the straight SATA cable into the bottom SATA port on the logic board, and the L-shaped SATA cable into the top SATA port on the logic board. To reinstall the PCI Express cover retaining plate, slide it into the top retaining tab and use the Phillips screwdriver to screw it back into place. To replace the fan assembly, slide it back into place and be sure that the new eSATA extender cable is below the top Phillips screw hole. Using a Phillips screwdriver, attach the top Phillips screw. Now replace the bottom Phillips screw in the fan assembly. Replace the processor heat seat cover by sliding it back into place until the magnetic latch connects. Slide the hard disk drive trays back into place, making sure that the hard drive seats all the way in. To close the Mac Pro, align the side door with the bottom of the case. Swing the door closed and push the rear latch downward until it locks into place. 